And now, if you're serious about testing a video display system, a dedicated test pattern generator, or TPG, increases the accuracy and speed of the job at hand. And DVDO has a brand new uh, AV Lab TPG that delivers digital video goodness from a package that literally fits in your back pocket. And that's what Patrick's holding right there. A well-manufactured puck, I call that thing. Size, it is small, but it's heavy. It's dense. It's dense, and uh, <laughs> heavy is good. Heavy is reliable. <laughs> It has a convenient pass-through HDMI design on it. Uh, you can actually slip this into the video stream and have it overlay mm -hmm. on top of whatever source device you're currently using. It incorporates MHL technology for basically charging your mobile device and working with your display systems as well. Uh, two control buttons on the unit itself, uh, one that switches the, the test patterns, the other one changing the resolution and formats from your extended standard def all the way on up. We just went through 1080p and 2160p24 coming right out of that. Now, the big deal about a test pattern generator like that is that it's dynamic and controllable uh, via USB. Now, if you're using a software package like Calman or ChromaPure or a few, other, a few of the other popular test uh, software packages out there for calibrating and testing display devices, this can tie right into it and be controlled through that software interface to further automate your setup and testing. And it's, it's, nice. it's the speed and the accuracy that really comes into play there. It's much nicer than sitting here and hitting, oh, wait, 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 almost there. <laughs> there is a full remote that comes with it too that allows you to access the internal menu system. Mm -hmm. It gives you far more direct uh, control options as well as direct access to some of the colors and test patterns. What they include though, right in the box, is pretty much everything you'd need to get it going. An HDMI cable, micro USB power adapter, also a micro USB cable as well for connecting to the computer, and uh, the padded travel pouch is around here somewhere, but <laughs> keeps it all protected if you're spending a good chunk of money on a test pattern generator. Uh, that's the way to do it. Is it affordable? Can consumers afford this, or is it more of a professional tool? This is more of a professional tool. If, if you're just doing basic stuff as far as calibrating and testing, you can get away with a disc, a low-cost disc, and, and a Blu-ray player or something like that. This, on the other hand, incorporates dozens of built-in test patterns that incorporate uh, that cover everything from scaling, sharpness, focus, color bars, also your signal format options. Mm -hmm. This allows you to, with a press of a button, scale from 480p up to 4K and UHD as well. True 4K too, if you're dealing with a projection system that is a 4K device. Formats uh, for refresh rates include the common ones you'd expect, 24, 30, 50, 60, depending on if you're in Europe or not. Sure. Uh, really the only thing I found missing was direct triplet input. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> now, let me just show you a quick screen on, wrong mouse. <laughs> so many mice. <laughs> so many. I often show you the Calman software package, and one of the things I do is I, I'll measure the grayscales, and this thing could spit out each one of these. It put up a 10, a 20, a 30% window, 40. But when it comes to stuff like checking color, uh, I really need, I, I'm testing a variety of different colors here, and the way these colors are generated mathematically is by creating a triplet, a number for red, blue, and green that shows how much of each gets mixed right. together. Uh, your standard disk isn't able to just dynamically create a specific color using three numbers. If it's not on the disk encoded already, you're not gonna be able to put it on the screen. This, on the other hand, can be programmed to say, you know what, I need a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, and no green, oh, and, or, or nor blue, and that would give me, you know, whatever color that might be. Very specific color selection if you need it. And that's really, that's where it comes from uh, as far as what a triplet wa is and what it will do right. for you in terms of how you use it in test setup. And, and unless you have some kind of test pattern generator, there's really no way to do that kind of testing directly. You, you'd be just skipping tests like that if you're analyzing a display device. Also, I asked for, you know, making this D-pad on the remote I found it a little bit underused. I thought they could have, instead of the small buttons right above there for navigating some right. of the menu stuff, they should be using the larger buttons to make it a little easier. And guess what? They're actually thinking about incorporating that very change cool. into the software because this is a software updatable box. And that's another thing. Uh, I really liked how DVDO's AV Labs TGP, uh, actually TPG, it, it sped up my uh, 4K format testing and, and HD testing as well. However, it is new hardware and the TPG already had its first firmware update. Right. And the app specific updates, like for Calman and other software packages are coming along. One of the original issues was pretty critical, but they addressed it quickly. And if I have learned anything about calibration hardware over the years, <laughs> it doesn't matter how good or expensive your gear is, uh, double check your results against a known source. And if you want to speed up your calibration workflow, 
you really got to start looking at something like a, a good dedicated test pattern generator like AV Labs TPG to get that serious work done and save you some serious time. That's the big deal. How much? 1300 bucks. So uh, list price. It's not cheap. Not at all. But like I said, it incorporates a lot into a box mm -hmm. like this. Uh, there are some do it yourself projects out there that uh, are significantly less expensive, but you don't have the backing of a company saying, you know what, we verified what's coming right. out of this box. We're supporting it for the life of the hardware. Well, you built like a Raspberry Pi into a signal generator. You can do that too. And I did that <laughs> for far less than this costs. But if you're not into that sort of, you know, hacking and slaying and getting it done, uh, this is a good piece of kit to have just because of what it does and the size of it. And it's ready to go for all the latest display technologies, mm -hmm. uh, at least as far as digital right. and up to UHD 4K resolution format support. Future proofed. Yes. At least until 8K.